No peeking. No peeking. We're going to do something really fun for you guys tonight. Totally not very substance related. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe we can turn it into that. Like, come downstairs. I got a challenge for you. <laughs> so we are going to play You Know Minute to Win It. Something similar to that. So we were talking about, like, he was telling me that he's got some serious favorite items that I can. Like, Rachel, we need to do more of this this year. <laughs> and I was like, it would be really fun if we just shared with you guys what our favorite favorites are. Like, favorite items. So we're going to give each other 30 seconds to turn around and pick our three favorite items. We've been canning now for... So Four years, five years. Twenty sixteen was my first year, and we've we've done a lot of things new for the first time. Mm -hmm. We've liked things and we can it again. Mm -hmm. And there's probably some things that we've even canned that we didn't really care for. Yeah, that we don't really can anymore. Right for that reason. So today is our three most favorite things. Favorite. Yes, but we're gonna make it a challenge because you guys know I love competition. <laughs> <laughs> so we gotta make it fun. So what he said when I told him, do you wanna come down here and do this? He goes, can you give me like two minutes to go look at everything? I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so we just could both kind of go at the same time and pick out what we want, like that um, shopping program oh, on TV. Oh, that's a fun one. Where they run through the store through the with the cart. Carts, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what that show's There's called. There's probably tripping hazards behind us, though, so we need to be careful. Okay, ready? Three things, same yep. time? You want to set the timer? We don't need a timer. I need a timer. <laughs> <laughs> the timer makes a competition? Yes, it does, because then we need the beep, 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 beep. Okay. <laughs> Let me find my timer. Tell them a story about something. Well, so we, we definitely <laughs> will bring you the next video where there's things that I've canned before that, mm, that was a good try, but I will not try that again. Um, and I will share those items with you. But my intent in doing this fun experiment is to get you guys thinking about what you want to preserve from your garden season this year. So they might be things that you didn't plan on growing or maybe you want to grow more of so you can do this. So are you ready? Yeah. 30, 30 seconds. seconds. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Is it going? Okay. Not yet. Okay. You're, you're... <laughs> I don't even know what I want. Yes, I do. This I competition's think I know. I know like too already I know. ready to start okay. cheating. Okay. Going. Okay. Uh, how much time do we have left? Okay. Uh, 20 seconds. Is that really my favorite though? I don't know. Uh, oh no. Okay. Yeah. I hope I'm grabbing the oh, right stuff. Maybe I can't. It's hard. so hard to pick just two. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. okay. I'm going to surprise you. 30 seconds is up. How do I make it stop? Okay. So do you want to tell them yours? Sure. <laughs> I switched one up because I had second thoughts. So favorite number one is the... Onion jam. Sweet onion jam that you took like, what, nine hours or something <laughs> to make this. Yes. But it's absolutely amazing. There's a reason we did it in little small jars like this because it helps us conserve it. <laughs> but it is divine, guys. It is so it good. It is so good. Let me set this down. My second one is that spicy hot mustard that you made. Yes. You bought the all, we were at the, um, grocery store one day up by our cabin and they had big giant bottles of mustard on sale 10, 10 for 10, 10. Mm -hmm. and she was like taking all these things of mustard she's like i got a plan for this but you use like i used a ton of my banana peppers last year and maybe even a few jalapenos to make this it's very so. very good especially on it's a little bit spicy so it's really good on like chili dogs and sloppy joes mm -hmm. and bratwurst on the grill 
But honestly, if you guys remember when I canned that, all these recipes too will link down in the description below. When I canned that spicy mustard, I was like, I don't know if we can give up regular mustard for this. But after a while, we were like, this is great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. On a burger too. Oh yeah. And then my third one, I switched up at the last minute. I was gonna pick the cowboy candy because we love that stuff and we eat it, but carrots. Plain home canned, canned, canned carrots. home carrots. Of all the vegetables that we can, when I'm getting ready to like make dinner and I need a vegetable side, I almost always go for carrots. And they're delicious. And a lot of people ask about home canned carrots, are they mushy? And the answer is, I don't think that they're any more mushy than normal store canned carrots. I think that you just have to heat them quickly. So we usually mm -hmm. wait till five minutes before dinner is ready, throw them in a skillet with some butter and honey and some herbs and give it a quick toss to heat through and they're good. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely not like you're gonna cook a fresh carrot. So did I win? No, you did good. It's not a <laughs> You made the timer. So mine yeah, are- I was trying to help you to hold no, something. No, I got it. Mine okay. are my pickled cabbage. You guys would have been sorely disappointed, I think, if I hadn't chose this. I eat this weekly, mm -hmm. <laughs> multiple times a week. I eat it plain. I make it into slaws. I stir fry it. And it is um, red cabbage, green cabbage, and carrots, and some peppers, all thinly julienned and pickled together. My other new item is our home canned pizza sauce. I am in love. I think it's better than any store-bought pizza sauce I've ever had. It's super thick, super flavorful. And unfortunately, I did not do a video on this last year. I'm almost we positive didn't? I didn't because it was end of season um, garden tomatoes and I was kind of just stretching a whole bunch of items. And I had like a whole table full of green tomatoes, remember that? And they were just mm -hmm. ripening as they came um, to ripen. And with one of those rounds, I did pizza sauce. And it's phenomenal. So hopefully I remember what recipe I used <laughs> and I'll share that with you guys this year. Did you write it down in your little book maybe? Maybe, yeah. And lastly is our home canned spaghetti sauce. It took me several years to figure out the magic recipe, the recipe that satisfied his needs and made me, gratified me that I could make a proper store-bought replacement. And I have got a couple videos on making spaghetti sauce. One is like turning just one huge batch of 50 pounds of tomatoes into nothing but spaghetti sauce. And another option is how do you make a tomato base and turn it into three different red sauce bases. So. I think you did what, Creole? Mexican. Mexican and then spaghetti. Italian. Italian, yeah. So. Um, Are you guys surprised by what we picked? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the thing is, is could we survive if we only canned these three, <laughs> these, <laughs> these six things? Probably have, not, right? I have two of mine are condiments. <laughs> yeah. One of mine is condiments. That doesn't even go good with carrots. <laughs> right. So So that is why we have a huge pantry, you know. I mean, I couldn't survive, honestly, without my green beans. I love my green beans. I couldn't survive without, you know, my canned chicken. I love my pickles. Have I not been on a pickle kick lately? You have, especially I, uh, in banana peppers. In banana peppers. Like, I mean, I have probably 10 pickles on every sandwich when I make it. I just love the crunch. I think I'm craving that fresh cucumber crunch. Um, so, like I said, you can't obviously survive on a pantry with just <laughs> odd choices of six items, but it was a fun experiment. Good job. Thanks. And you know what it makes me proud is that he can pick things that he loves out of my pantry. Yeah. Did you think that you would enjoy home canned food as much as we are when we first started doing this? Um, 
like certain things 2016 took- 2016 when we were still in rockwood and i just had like jellies and salsas did you think we would have this and that you could no really supplement store-bought no way no especially things that like i was particular about like yeah. the spaghetti, spaghetti sauce, sauce. Mm-hmm. like ragu prego yeah it can't be the chunky style it has to be this yeah. certain variety and yeah i'm very uh brand brand <laughs> not necessarily brand committed i'm just i get stuck in my ways i find something i like like and i'll just buy that over and over and over and over yeah. so but you said it took a while to adjust a little bit it took a while to adjust certain things and certain recipes like the spaghetti oh, yeah. sauce like the first batch you made mm mm-hmm. mhm I didn't really care for it. Right. I mean, it was it was way too acidy. I think acidic. Yeah. yeah. Um, but now you figured out a way to balance adjust it, it and mm-hmm. balance it with your carrots and zucchini and different things yeah. you add to it. And yeah, so good job. So if you're just starting your food pantry process, building up your skill set, making. Um, your own family's goods, eventually you're going to be able to go down and have a minute to win it challenge with your family (laughs) because they will learn to love it. They will have their favorites that mom, dad, you got to can this again this year. And it's just so rewarding when you have that joy that you can share in your pantry. So thanks, guys. That was fun. (laughs) Yeah, it was fun for you, too. Try it yourself. Go down to your pantry. (laughs) And uh, pick out some things. What are your favorites? Maybe our favorites will give you some inspiration as well. Yes. And let us know down in the comments because it could be something that we've never tried before and it'll inspire me in return to try something new this year. Last year was a huge year of new recipes for my pantry. Um, So every year I look to extend the variety and bring more options to Mm -hmm. our own grocery store. Good job. Thanks. Bye, guys. See ya.